Hi, Mark here. Today we're working on a 1969 Chevy van. It's got a 250 cubic inch six cylinder engine with a one barrel carburetor. It's actually in the wedgie van. And we've got the no start issue that just cropped up overnight. The engine was running fine for quite a while, years. And go out there one morning and the thing don't want to start. Trace it to no spark situation. So typically what happens is you got a bad control module, which is inside the distributor. So I went ahead and put a new control module in there and I'm driving down the road. No problem. Except that it started cutting out at anywhere between half and three quarters of a throttle, which felt kind of like a fuel starvation issue, but then it was happening during uh, any gear. Uh, so I'm wonder what's going on here and I think I finally got it figured out and I wanted to share that with you but uh, first let me show you what's going on here under the hood this is the uh, HEI distributor you can see the yellow spark plug wires and there's uh, the vacuum advance that's on the side of the distributor and you got this vacuum line that goes to the carburetor and we're gonna start up the engine I want to show you what happens when I pull that line off Gonna get a little bit noisy here. We can get it started. So now we're gonna pull that vacuum line. And the engine dies, which is not normal. So let me take you over here to the tool bench and show you what I think is the issue. We went down to O'Reilly's and bought ourselves another pickup module. You can see the part number right there. And this is the pickup module that sits inside the distributor. You got these two wires that go to the control unit and then the distributor shaft goes right through the center and there's a small arm coming from the vacuum advance that hooks into that that little hole there and whenever there's an advance it turns this slightly now, i believe what's happened is over the years those wires have flexed to the point where there's uh, contact being broken the wires come loose inside or uh, something's going on in there so we're going to change that out and see if that makes any difference so stay tuned 